Alright guys, today we're taking a look at a new file encrypting ransomware. This one goes under the alias of Birele, Birele, something like that. And what's interesting about it is that it uses uh, methods that are very similar to the GP code file encrypting ransomware that was going around quite a while ago. And what I mean by that is that it uses a different password for every install, unlike that MBL block thing, and it uses much stronger encryption protocol. So, these files are pretty much impossible to decrypt without the password. And there's really only one possible way you could get the password without paying for it, but it's highly, highly unlikely that you would be able to do this if you actually got infected with this. But I'll still show you anyway, because it's cool. So, anyway, we're on the desktop. We have uh, some test files. We have an RTF file. There it is. We have a text file. Text file. And, of course, we have a JPEG. And all three of these files should be encrypted by uh, Birele or whatever. And, as I mentioned just a moment ago... There is one way you can get the password, and that is when it first runs. Because when it first runs, it will generate a password, send that to some server somewhere, and then it will start encrypting the files, and at that point, the owner or whoever will now have the password and will give that to you when you pay up 300 bucks. So, let's just go ahead and fire up. Wireshark, because we can see this. There we go. And, of course, the file is running in VMware, and this is looking at our VMware uh, network devices. So it'll pick up everything. So we'll go ahead and run our executable. Oh, just a moment. There we go. Run our executable. Alright, there we go. We have Wireshark open now. And we are getting some connections now. And we'll take a look at this here in a moment. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move Wireshark out of the way for now and look at the VM. And as you can see, our files have all been changed to .crypt files. And we have an info message, just like GP code. And it says your computer has been hacked and all these file extensions and some others may have been blocked and to get an unlock code you have to contact these people at this email address and pay up three hundred dollars and as it says if you attempt to remove this informer you just might lose all your files and that is very true so and to prove that they can decrypt your files they will allow you to send one file up to them and they will decrypt it for you. And let's just go ahead and look at our files now. We'll go ahead and open our text file. That'll be the most obvious. Use notepad. It is fucked, basically. There's no chance of recovering that without the password. Uh, let's see if it encrypted any other files. Let's try our... Do we have any doc... I don't think we have documents. It did not encrypt any of our music. It did encrypt our pictures here. Uh, nothing in videos. So it seems like mainly photos and document files it'll go after. And of course we have an identification number up here because every install is different and has a different password and all that. But... I could show you how to remove this, but really it's not worth it because your files will still be encrypted. And if there is like some kind of decryption tool that ever comes out for this, this is like a newer variant and it's different from older variants that would actually leave the password on the machine, but no. Password is not left on the computer with this one. So if some if there's some way to decrypt this, I will make a video about it, but until then, no. So Let's get to that one very special case, bring Wireshark back over, and we'll scroll back up to our 
uh, let's see which one was it, uh, this, add, add.php, and it inserts password equals all of that. So we'll just go ahead and type that in. And I guess I have to open Wireshark in another window over here. So we'll just start typing this in. Unlock. Okay, unlock code confirmed. Please wait for the message that the operation completed. This may take a long time. Okay. So, at this point, it should be decrypting our files, and look at that. They are back. Sort of. So, that will wrap it up for the Birele ransomware Trojan. Thank you very much for watching.